Hello. Welcome to Mother Complet for today. Uh, what day is it? Wednesday, Wednesday, Woden's Day. Uh, the uh, Hello, Claire. Um, the 28th of October. Yes. Uh, so using any system tonight, tonight we are using. Uh, OBS, uh, I think it's called Open Broadcast Software, just playing around with things for a Sunday morning using videos. But we're giving this a go tonight, uh, so I can seamlessly split between uh, scenes and screens like this. <laughs> yeah, that was smooth, wasn't it? Uh, evening all. Um, so I am modelling uh, this rather splendid hat. Uh, I'll, I'll now put it on straight. No. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Um, why can't I hear myself? Can I hear myself? It's because I'm trying to listen to a hat. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, so this is, uh, hello, hello, Joyce. Uh, this is the rather splendiferous um, The Infernal Sea. Uh, a band I've talked about a bit ago. They've got two full-length albums out. Uh, they are from uh, the UK. Um, I'll give them a plug here. Uh, so, the Infernal Sea, UK black metal. Uh, I quite like the design of this T-shirt. Yeah, uh, so the two albums, uh, they kind of, you know, have a religious content in that they are uh, critiquing, uh, pointing out th uh, issues with Christendom uh, on their first album in terms of responding to and writing about the story of the Knights Templar. Um, and the most recent album um, deals with issues around the Black Death, which is obviously very current. Uh, in terms of COVID uh, and in terms of uh, people's responses, religious responses uh, and uh, perhaps some of the, the ways in which the church didn't cover itself in glory. So, yeah, uh, interesting if you want to kind of uh, critique social history of uh, Christendom. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and uh, the other thing <clears throat> that they make is this. This is, uh, it's called Infernal Fire Tea. Um, so black metal tea, they do a black tea, black metal black tea as well, called uh, the Infernal Tea. The band's called the Infernal Sea. They've got a tea called the Infernal Tea. See what he did there? Very good. Um, and uh, it says here, uh, it comes with a lovely picture of a plague doctor uh, having a drink. I'm not sure if you can see that. No. Okay, I'll read it to you. Um, it says, This 11th century English remedy was administered to patients who believed, who believed, who were believed to need the internal fire. Ginger root was used as treatment for the Black Plague. Many believed that to eat it would protect you from evil. So, if Beelzebub appears behind me, it doesn't work, all right? So uh, I've never tasted this before. I made it just before we came on out, which is why I'm a bit late. So mm. it's got a very herbally sort of aroma. ASMR tea. Ah. Mm. Yeah, definitely taste the ginger. Uh, but a bit of a mellow mallow in there as well, just to kind of take a bit of the heat out. So the tea bags are in. We'll see how how hot this gets uh, and strong throughout the evening. If my if my earphones blow off, headphones blow off, it's got really gingery. All right. Um, hello, mother. Um, yeah, it's nice. I'm like, oh yeah, good sort of uh, winter's brew. Um, infernal fire. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Harry. Bring me my poo emojis. 
Um, anyway, while we wait for Ari to send some poo emojis uh, and more people together, we'll uh, go to the next screen. And the reason I'm leaning over this side and looking weird will become clear now. Ah, look. Ha ha. The words are next to me and not so, yeah. Uh, so I want some feedback tonight whether you can see those. I hope you can. Uh, hence the really fact I've sort of got to stay over this side. Um, but um, just uh, have a look at tonight's question uh, from the Methodist, a metal Methodist way of life, which is uh, under evangelism, when was the last time you were able to talk about God? When was the last time you were able to talk about God? And as we think about that, uh, we shall hear some music. As moon rises, the sun slips a sight, begins the ritual of this night, for those convinced their path is right. Gathered from north, south, east and west, yet called at another's behest, those treading the path that is left. From near and far, come as you are to this place and embrace this space as darker hue embraces you. Hello, of you. water, spirit, earth and fire, confessing the sins of empire, we come with our wounds and desire. Sensing that we are not alone, drawn to the flame that guides us home, 
for here, you, me, and yet to be. Importance and signs of these times, for the sake of all those maligned, is yet the home of the divine. Hello. this OBS thing and like on Zoom you could see the PowerPoint and I was running from PowerPoint I kind of could see what was coming next on this I could only see what this is showing me so I have no idea what's coming next so I may not continue to use this but I'm just playing with it for Sunday mornings um, you can just about read it but it's still a bit it's a bit blurred right okay thank you cheers Rachel uh, what I'll try is uh, when we come to the sending I'll use and the other bits I'll use the big uh, put it on full screen, see if that's any better. So I wonder what has uh, lifted your soul today? Um, this uh, this in Infernal Fire uh, tea, black tea, black metal tea from the band uh, Infernal Sea is uh, roasting my chestnuts. Huh. So what is it that's lifted your soul that has given you a bit of Tucson tack, a thousand thank yous feeling today? Maybe we can have a think about that as we reflect back on the day and just ask to be made aware of those things uh, that we can be joyful and thankful for, even if it's been uh, several things and even the majority of things in the day that have... Uh, sucked uh just uh invited just, just to focus, focus on something one thing to be grateful for today as we uh indulge ourselves in some exuberant power metal <laughs> This is not my leaky cup. Sorry, everything is back to front. I'm getting used to this. Now, I don't know how they do the weather forecast. I have no idea. Uh, this is my non-leaky cup. The leaky cup looks like this is in the bin. Um, after you've found the leak in it. <laughs> but thanks for finding the leak. So maybe there have been less than good bits today as well. Uh, in which case we can lay those down, whether it's uh, stuff you've experienced, work, home, school, uh, community-wise, stuff on the news uh, that you've witnessed, that you've had to deal with, whether it's um, stuff that people have said or done to you that have just, uh, yeah, caused pain. Uh, the stuff that perhaps chews in our brains and that we don't need to carry anymore. We can lay them down as we say these words together. For the principalities and will to power, the worms from within my own darkest hour, I confess all the regrets and the regrets, the burdens and the fears 
the lament and the tears for ourselves, for those whom we love, for all humanity, indeed all creation, we lay them down. Uh, if you want to use the image of the foot of the cross, just lay them there and leaving them behind, giving them to God, whatever works for you. Uh, they're gone. Uh, they stay in today. Uh, tomorrow is a new day so that you can hear we can each hear jesus say to each of us come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and i will give you rest and i pray deeply uh, that some of that rest might be yours this evening what's that i'm echoing 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 echo echo reverse echo reverse echo reverse echo reverse echo pop the prosecco Uh, so we come now to our reading uh, from the Metal Bible. Um, big love as always to Carl Johannes Johnson uh, of the Metal Bible International dot com and Facebook the Metal Bible Official. Um, I'm just now trying to remember <laughs> what the reading was for today, which prompted me to ask the questions for the Metal Methodist Way of Life for tonight. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Yeah, so um, going to John's Gospel. Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John work out that until it's gone. That's the paper workout from uh, the Robert Coltrane film The Pope Must Die. Or is it Nuns on the Run? One or the other. Um, John 15, 17 to 27. And these are the words. This is my command. Love each other. Love command. If the world hates you, remember that it hated me first. The world would love you as one of its own if you belong to it. But you are no longer part of the world. I chose you to come out of the world. So it hates you. Do you remember what I told you? A slave is not greater than the master. Since they persecuted me naturally, they will persecute you. And if they listen to me, they would listen to you. They will do all this to you because of me. For they have rejected the one who sent me. They would not be guilty if I had not come and spoken to them, but now they have no excuse for their sin. Anyone who hates me also hates my father. If I hadn't done such miraculous signs among them that no one else could do, they would not be guilty. But as it is, they have seen everything I did, yet they still hate me and my father. And this fulfills what's written in the Hebrew scriptures. They hated me without cause. But I will send you the advocate, says Jesus, the spirit of truth. He will come to you from the father and will testify all about me. And you must also testify about me because you have been with me from the beginning of my ministry. Um, So yeah, um, just wondering, just wondering what in that speaks to you. Um, in that reading, maybe you're having one of those days or a time where it feels, uh, yeah, that things or people, whatever is against you. Um, I think that's pretty clear. It's not necessarily talking about um, suffering per se, and that you know God causes that. Uh, but he's talking specifically about uh, the stuff that we endure because of if we have a faith in Jesus, uh, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, you love rock and metal music uh, and you try and follow the Jesus way uh, and people don't get it and people uh, call you out on it and uh, talk about you behind your back about it, all those sorts of things. Um, or, you know, if you, people are funny with you at work because, you know, you do this Jesus thing, um, <clears throat> whatever it is, it's, it's that kind of thing. Um, but I guess in our own lives, we've all had times when we've felt, um, yeah, that it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle, uh, even though we've got this command, love each other, and we try and do that to the best of our ability. Um, and, and yet life is still tough. Um, 
so we just kind of recognize that we follow the way of jesus which is the way of the cross which is a sacrificial way of living it's not about seeking out persecution and suffering at all um but it is perhaps about recognizing that in trying to love and follow the way of jesus we're going to hit opposition um and that we support each other in that that we're there with each other but also just to hold on to that bit where jesus says i will send an advocate so like in law an advocate somebody who speaks on our behalf the holy spirit to strengthen and to comfort us and goes ahead of us into any situations that we're worried about about how to hold on to the integrity of what we believe uh and also uh whilst also you know needing to respond to a particular situation or a conversation with with, with, with somebody that we think is going to be difficult all those things but the holy spirit is with us uh whether we are uh doing stuff on the internet whether we are going in to a really challenging situation caring for people with covid whether we're driving ambulance to pick up goodness knows a person named during goodness knows what um whether we're going into uh you know a room full of of, of children uh, amidst uh the pandemic and trying to love and care for them as individuals within a you know a larger class size whatever it is uh that the holy spirit the advocate goes with us and that uh all we are called to do is to do our best to follow that command of Jesus to love one another. Uh, we are not alone. And here each night in our Tus and Tack, we can give thanks for things that have gone well in that respect, things we want to celebrate and give thanks for, but also we can support each other and carry each other uh, when we go, man, it's been awful today. Uh, we're here for each other in that way, and just as the Holy Spirit, God and the Holy Spirit is with us as well um which kind of leads me to tonight's question for um Methodist way of life seamless link so the question is from evangelism when was the last time you were able to talk about god uh, and the reason I put that up is that um, in that reading, uh, Jesus says, bum, bum, bum. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll send you the advocate, the spirit of truth, who will come to you from the Father and will testify all about me, says Jesus. And you must also testify me about me because you have been with me from the very beginning of my ministry. Now he's talking to his you know, original disciples, uh, his original kind of close friends and, and people who first followed him. And they were with him from the beginning of his ministry. And he could say, well, how are we supposed to testify? Because 2000 years later, we've, we weren't with Jesus on earth. Uh, what we're we supposed to testify and talk about and point to and say, yeah, that's Jesus. Uh, well, you know, we've, we've, we've got, uh, you know, you know about Jesus from the stories in the Metal Bible. Other Bibles are available, but this one's awesome. Uh, but also our own experience of God uh, or the divine or the other, whatever word you want to use. Um, and that's what we're called to testify about, our own experience of, of, of good news of God, of Jesus, in terms of uh, the dying and rising of Jesus, in terms of what that means for our own forgiveness. Even if there's things we've done that, you know, we, we, we even can't forgive ourselves. You know, we're forgiven by God is amazing. And to, to share that sense of freedom and release with other people. Um, so... Yeah, in what ways do we testify and talk about and point to um, Jesus? Uh, and in what ways do we kind of want to, but it's perhaps where we need the help of the Advocate, the Holy Spirit to do that. And perhaps that's something we can, we can think about in our prayers if there's particular situations that you're going into in the rest of this week. So does anyone want to share uh, by typing in uh, any ways in which you were able, have been able to talk about God? Um, I suppose for me it's been encouraging um, both kind of local to me uh, and, and church people having been knocked a bit by some church people for, for this uh, but not uh, from, from other people locally and elsewhere in the country in other countries just um, yeah just finding that this uh, um, you know a place to talk about rock metal and try and live out a sense of faith in Jesus and be a disciple uh as a place where we can talk about 
God, uh, but people have been talking about God by kind of sharing this as a place to do that, which is really encouraging uh, and, and much appreciated. Um, so that's good. Anything else that you want to share about uh, when you've been able to talk about God recently? Um, I have no idea uh, using OBS how long the delay is compared to Zoom between what I say and what's on Facebook and how long people respond. So uh, I'll just uh, leave that question up there um, and um, yeah, give it a couple of minutes for people to respond. Oh, there we are, Mother. Thank you. Uh, before your operation, wow, listening to Margaret Ritz's CD, it wouldn't play. Uh, you had to explain to the doctor what the music was about. Nice one. Yeah, you see? So those who listen to metal or even Christian metal, it's a chance to talk about their music and why it matters. But also, even when you listen to Margaret Ritzer, there's a chance to explain who Margaret Ritzer is as a composer and of, of I suppose, chants. Um, beautifully arranged, very, very beautiful. Uh, and why that particular music would be helpful ahead of an operation, that it it's really gives you a sense of calm uh, and the repetitiveness kind of just reminds you and holds you in God's presence and a chance to say that's why I'm listening to it. Awesome. Thanks, Mum. Uh, and Catherine, allowing people to know your faith but not necessarily preaching. Yeah, yeah, but maybe just lead by example. Yeah. That's, no, thank you. Yeah, because we can talk about God, but actually we talk about God in the way we act and what we say as well. Or how we say it. Thank you, Catherine. I think that's really important. Um, I do believe uh, Patrick Stone here, or some actual proper minister and church historian, will correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I do believe it was uh, Saint Francis of Assisi, uh, the original Doctor Doolittle, who taught the animals. Um, but he said, um, "Preach the gospel and use words if you have to. Preach the gospel." and use words if you have to. So yeah, definitely that thing about how we live. And I think in James's, uh, gos uh, the book of James in the Bible, uh, it also talks about faith without works is dead. So we can say we believe, but unless we put it into practice in how we live, then what's the point of it? You know, it, it, you know the faith that we have and the hope of a kingdom of heaven, of justice, of joy and peace and love uh, and the belief that one day that will be on this earth as in heaven, uh, you know, that, that, that's not for our benefit, that's for other people's benefit as well. And we have a duty to kind of share that and be part of the building of that as a partner with God through how we act and how we live and what we say and where we spend our time and how we spend our money. Um, and more power to all those who are doing it day in, day out, whether in the NHS, in education, uh, within their community, uh, whatever it is, uh, may you be strengthened by the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, in that. Um, also, just appreciate feedback on whether using OBS is any better in terms of clarity of anything uh, and, and be able to see me or be able to see the words. It might be that we lose the split screen and just go between the two if there's words we need to respond to. Um, but yeah, and I'll keep diving out and there's a bit of a pause when I go back into PowerPoint and move things on. Uh, but yeah, just good to know if A, if you noticed any difference at all, or if it's still as pants as ever, or if it's just me that's pants, uh, <laughs> all responses are valid. Uh, uh, thank you. So the songs you were listening to, Mother, it was one song was about Jesus being your joy, and another was about words of blessing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I pray that what you shared with that doctor will be a blessing to him or her as well. Um, I think as Rita shared the other night, Ahead of her shingles operation, sharing her faith, uh, and I, I did see a post by a colleague from a chaplain in the NHS uh, that was shared with permission from a senior staff nurse um, in one of the local hospitals here, um, just kind of saying it's happening again, it's happening again, it's horrendous. Please God, just stay home. Uh, and so, just thinking about how people in the NHS on the front line, on the hard edge of it. And in care homes and many other places just just need blessing blessing uh and, and maybe we can do that by how we personally manage uh our own risk of of, of spreading covid uh, but also how we share with them good news but also value them and let them know that they are valued and that we're thinking about them and praying for them um yeah
So let's pray. Feel free to type in if there's anything particularly you want to share for prayer. Share for prayer. Weekly, we can have silence that's also a form of prayer and that's okay um, or if you want to share in your hearts or out loud with people you're with at home rather than share on online that's fine <laughs> yeah i know it's a bit trivial but i do pray for having spoken to a couple of people today pray for people in i guess ordained ministry who are still getting their heads around and struggling to do stuff online on equipment that's never built for it uh with funding that was never built to do that um uh, yeah <laughs> and this tired and frustration involved uh i know it's a little thing in the scheme of things but uh Again, like all of us, we all have those things that might seem tiny, but sometimes that the thing else we're carrying, they can be the things that just are the last thing, the straw that breaks the uh, yeah the, the, the proverbial camel's back. Well, let's continue to pray for D and for DS. for Neil. That's all we have for all of our prayers, spoken and unspoken. All oh, right, okay, that caring emoji on Facebook just gave me an inkling about the delay between, uh, yeah, the delay between um, what I'm saying and what's coming out. So yeah, let's offer our prayers spoken, unspoken, yearned, felt, screamed, cried. To the one in whom all people and all creation have their being, may your kingdom come. Your will be done as above, so below. Sustain us for this day. Show us grace as we seek to show grace to those we feel have wronged us. Save us from the worst that is within us and within this world. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Yeah, praying for, thank you Rachel, praying for those who lost their lives uh, and, and the families, I guess, back home who have no idea. And for the people who responded to it as well after the um, boat sank in the channel yesterday. Um, and also massive, massive prayers for all those caught up in the huge floods in Sudan. Uh, for organisations, here it comes, <laughs> like All We Can, www.allwecan.org.uk and others who are, you know, going to be responding on the ground. Um, yeah. So shall we send each other as we say these words. The peace of the all parent be ours this night. And in the time that is and will fully be with all people and all creation. Amen. So, um, yeah, uh, until tomorrow night, 
Um, so hopefully, as I hinted at in a, a video elsewhere, uh, just having a conversation with one particular band at the minute who, um, yeah, may be able to hook up with in the not too distant future um, and talk about some of their stuff uh, and their new album as well. Um, <clears throat> two more sleeps. Uh, Tim Baker might be quite excited about this one. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, trying to keep things uh, interesting here. Uh, the other thing is I am um, experimenting, right? So I've set up a Patreon thing. There's a post on Metal Methodist, facebook.com Metal Methodist, facebook.com forward slash Metal Methodist. Um, where you can link to Patreon thing. I am not asking, I am just saying it's there if anybody wants to have a look and possibly support it. The reason for doing it um, is, yeah, I think as I said, try to do various things linked to this, which seems to be taking off, which is good. Uh, I'm not trying to, you know, achieve anything particular, but just create a space uh, for people of faith but also people into particular music uh, and a place to just be safe and be welcomed and to support each other. Um, <clears throat> but obviously uh, it's over and above my um, kind of day-to-day -day ministry for which I receive a stipend. Um, and while I always prioritise that over, over this, that's sometimes where we don't have uh, complaint if there's other things that I need to do as part of that role. Um, <clears throat> however, I think during this pandemic and perhaps going forward, it's been good to connect with different people in different ways and hopefully provide a space for people, perhaps often what feel they're a bit different to, uh, to be and to connect. Um, so yeah, that Patreon page is just there trying to, uh, resource that a little bit, um, you know, in terms of some of this kit, which is, uh, struggling, um, as I'm sure when I watch back on OBS, I'll discover uh, the use of OBS as a free thing didn't help whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, just stuff, I'm just saying it's there. If people want to have a look, um, that's fine. There's no obligation. Um, I'm still not sure about it myself and the ethics of it, but I'm just kind of putting it there and, and, and seeing what response I get and, and how I can learn. So yeah, so, um, so we also pray with, uh, you know, with Catherine, I think all of us, that the R rate will go down, and especially um, news that apparently I thought it was Nottingham, but apparently now the whole of Nottinghamshire mother um, are going to go into tier three. I should be stuck on my lonesome here in tier two. Ooh. Well, <laughs> probably not for long. Uh, so yeah, probably it will go down. And uh, you know, this news about vaccine and potentially being with NHS frontline staff by before Christmas, uh, please God. And uh, yeah, that's just thank God for those who are working on it. Um, not because life has to get back to normal, because I think we've learned something through this experience, certainly initially about who we value and how we express that, often the most lowly paid. Uh, so yeah, I, but I think there are things that we can take forward from this experience that I pray will help us be different as society and maybe even world. Uh, <clears throat> but I think it's gonna be, you know, we've got to work at it rather than just go, oh, great vaccine. Uh, let's just go back to yeah how things were you know this is taught as we're all connected so as the when the R8 please God comes down uh, may we continue to may we continue to whatever your taste in music uh, but thank you all for joining me And now, blisters and others, let us sway.
So, laters, potatoes, blisters and others. Uh, see you tomorrow. Facebook.com forward slash... That's the wrong way around now. Forward slash... Like I'm... Serving hors d'oeuvres or something. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ambassador with his Ferro Rocher. Other chocolates are available. You are really spoiling us. Yeah. Uh, see you tomorrow. 7pm. Facebook.com forward slash Michael Methodist. Take care. Um, thank you for all that you are and all that you do, which is hope and light and love despite the darkness. Take care.